Welcome to a step-by-step -step guide to making the most out of AdSense. My name is Mel Ann, and I'm an account manager on the AdSense team in Sydney, Australia. Together with my colleague Tim, we'll be running through a guide to successful AdSense optimization. One of the great things that Mel and I love about our job is helping publishers maximise their AdSense performance via the optimization program. The two aims of the program are to increase your AdSense revenue and improve your community's experience on your website. The optimization guide that follows is all about these two goals. Let's go through the steps for optimizing your web pages. These five steps will take you through a complete optimization and are a good starting point for you to improve your AdSense performance. As optimization specialists, Tim and I go through these steps when looking at all our publishers' accounts. Firstly, we analyse the content of a web page and determine how your users view the content. By using custom channels, we also find out which ad units are performing or underperforming by looking at the channel data available. Then we determine the optimal ad formats and placements of your ads, such as colour, positions and size. We also make sure that you're getting the most out of having multiple ad units on a page. And by tracking and measuring the results from when you implement it, you'll be able to see whether your optimizations have made a difference to your AdSense performance. People read pages in different ways, and their interaction with ads will depend on a few factors. Ask yourself these questions. Firstly, what type of content do you have on your pages? Someone will interact with an article page differently from a forum, and differently again with a video site. Secondly, where is their attention likely to be focused? If you have your most interesting content at the top of the page, the best ad placements will be next to that content. You should place ads where your users are most likely to look and not hide them away at the corner of your page. Thirdly, ask yourself how you can integrate ads into this area without getting in the user's way. You want to protect your community's experience with your web page and not clutter it with ads. This heat map highlights the areas on a web page where ads perform well. Ads are ideally placed above the fold and close to your primary content. You should place ads where your users are most likely to look and not hide them away. At the end of the day, your knowledge of how your community interacts with your page will guide you on how to best apply these optimization techniques. When analysing your pages, it's also important to think about how advertisers would like to appear on your site. A great way to potentially increase your earnings is by making your site more appealing to advertisers. Earnings, or effective CPM, can be increased by advertisers targeting your site in a placement targeting campaign. In a placement targeting campaign, an advertiser bids more than all of the ads in an ad unit to take up that entire unit with their ad. This is most often an image ad, but it could be video, flash, or a text ad. The top three ways of ensuring that your site is advertiser-friendly are to opt into showing text as well as image ads, to have well-designed and presented content, and to use larger ad units, such as the 300 by 250 medium rectangle. Custom channels allow you to categorise or group different ad units across your site for reporting purposes. They give you a better insight into how individual ad units are performing, so that you can make decisions about placement, colour and style, and maximise your users' engagement with the ads. You can manage your custom channels in the Channel section under the AdSense Setup tab. So, after analysing your pages and determining where you'd like to place your ads, make sure you also create a channel for individual ad unit placements. You'll be able to compare performance between ad units. For example, by creating a custom channel to track all your leaderboard ad units, as well as your medium rectangle ad units, you'll be able to see which ad size performs better in terms of click-through rate or revenue. Tracking individual ad units metrics ensures that you have the best information possible for maximising your AdSense performance. Advertisers love to use these formats in placement targeting campaigns as they are common industry standards. The three most popular are the medium rectangle, wide skyscraper 
and leaderboard. If you opt into showing image ads, you'll also be able to receive rich media ads as well, including flash and video. I'd really encourage you to implement at least one of these formats in a consistent manner across your site, as they have proved not only to be the most desirable to advertisers, but also the best performing in terms of click-through rate and effective CPM. Colours play an important part in keeping your ads looking professional and a relevant part of your site. As text ads show approximately 70 to 80% of the time, it's essential that they complement your site. There are several ways that you can do this. Simple things like blending in the background of the ads with the colour of your site and removing borders have proven in the past to have a significant impact upon click-through rate. Just be careful of not blending the ads too much so that they look like your site's content. You can also try to highlight the link in URL with shades that complement your site's colours. Remember that tricking your audience to click on ads does not work in the long run and Google penalises publishers whose users are not interacting properly with the ads on a page. So let's summarise the key learnings from looking at ad design and placement. We found that doing an analysis of how your users view information and enjoy the content on your site is absolutely essential to how you choose to place your ads. It's important not to hide your Google Ads, as users will actually find them useful if they can see them. Integrate your ads with your content and place them where they're visible. You'll find that your click-through rate will actually improve. Choose colours for your ads so that they are easily distinguishable from content, but still look like they belong on your site. We see so many instances where ads look like they're a copy and paste job, so take advantage of the flexibility that AdSense offers by customising your palettes. Don't forget, we now offer rounded corners for your ads. OK. Now we'll move on to how to maximise revenue from the existing units on a page. Of course, the AdSense team is very wary of advising you to plaster your pages with ads, so to maximise the yield from multiple units, we recommend finding out which unit is performing best on your page. You can do this by setting up custom channels to determine which format is outperforming the rest in terms of having the highest click-through rate and eCPM. The first ad unit on a page always shows the highest paying ads, the ones that win the ad auction. These pay you the most per click. The first unit on the page is defined as the first instance of the ad code within your HTML. Place that ad unit first in your HTML so it will receive the highest paying ads. This will maximise the yield you receive from multiple units on a page. So for example, if you have a leaderboard at the top of your page, but a medium rectangle that's placed halfway down is outperforming it, then the higher paying ads are better off being placed in that medium rectangle, where your users click more. If you're comfortable with HTML and JavaScript, you're probably able to figure out a way to place the medium rectangle first in your HTML. However, a good result can also be gained by removing the leaderboard from the top and placing it somewhere else on the page, so the medium rectangle appears first in your page's source code. Let's go over the best ways of tracking and measuring your optimization results. As I mentioned previously, using custom channels is a great way to track AdSense performance at an individual ad unit level. This next section will detail the method to draw out these insights. I'm sure everyone is familiar with the Reports tab within your account. To generate a report on your custom channels, click on the Advanced Reports sub-tab. Select the Channel Data radio button, and then the channels that you'd like to compare. You also have the option of showing your results by date, channel, or both. Below you'll see your results. In this example, we have grouped results by date. This gives results for each day for all the custom channels you have selected. Even more useful is grouping your results by channels. This allows you to compare different ad units based on placement, colour or format. Please note that this feature depends on whether you have set up your custom channels to track these variables in the first place. In this example, we are comparing the performance of your 120 by 600 skyscraper against a 300 by 250 medium rectangle. If we were to run these reports over a monthly time frame, 
and see that the 300 by 250 medium rectangle is performing better, we may try first add unit optimization as discussed by Tim. Generating placement targeting reports is done within the same panel. Simply select the Show Data By option and change it to Individual Ad Unit. This allows you to see which ad units are receiving placement targeted ads and whether your optimization has raised your effective CPM. Let's look through some of the great resources available for AdSense optimization. On the AdSense Help Center, you'll find the answers to our most common questions, as well as more techniques to help improve your AdSense performance. Try searching for Optimizing AdSense in the Help Center and walk through some of the easy to implement solutions for getting the most out of AdSense. The Google AdSense Help Forum is a place for you to learn and share optimization techniques with other AdSense publishers. You can browse previous threads and comments or post up a new conversation for advice on how to approach optimization on your site. Thanks for sitting through our presentation on optimizing your AdSense performance. I'd really encourage you to implement these five steps to optimization to make the most of your experience with the program. If you have any questions about AdSense or if you'd like more details on AdSense optimization in general, please feel free to contact the team by emailing adsense-support at google.com.